shall not allow such nonsense. Let him go out and talk about what people do, what they've not done in the last 10 years. Let him go out and say that because he was a critic of what, the failure of PF. How does it turn out to turn around today and begin to condemn sincere minds that we that want to develop this nation? Can we live a respectable family which he should take to higher heights by being balanced? We never know one of his children or all of his children who get married to Southerners or Westerners or from people, people from Northwestern province. This nonsense of trying to rule people and divide them because of their tribe will not be tolerated and acceptable in Zambia. That nonsense, in fact, even those who cover him, they should stop covering him because what he talks about has no future, it, is, it, it has no balance, it will not help anybody. Zambians, let's begin to cover people who are genuine to Zambians. Bakabwili, he has become irrelevant and he should remain as such. Thank you, uh, Chairman. That was uh, our national chairman with his uh, uh, comments. And uh, not to take much of your time, members of the press, I'll call my uh, uh, media director, who has uh, a few comments uh, to make before I finally. Good morning. Good morning, members of the press. Uh, we have been left with no choice. Uh, it's, uh, the reason is simple. It's the confusion that uh, Mr. Kambuili wants to cause um, in the political environment in Zambia. But I'll describe his political uh, confusion in threefold, because I've worked with the man over six years very closely, more than even the bodyguard that you see behind here. So I want, today I didn't want to be so much emotional because sometimes I get emotional when I, I see him ranting in such behavior, uh, lying to the Zambian people. I had to write over his, um, his confusion that surrounds his life. Um, the man wants his business restored by the PF. It's a known fact. He's, not, he's a tenderpreneur who cannot survive outside politics. Based on that, he has reduced himself to a mayor of Zela, which is a chief cadre. Imagine someone who resigns from his own party. Alavane. <laughs> Alavane. The second uh, part about CK, which people don't know, is he has, because of his verbal diarrhea, he has too many cases that are squeezing his belly and his mouth. So he's so scared to go to jail. He's left with no choice but to sing PF songs. You saw what we went through when he faces jail. He would literally faint. So the man has nothing but to save his soul. The most uh, disappointing part uh, members of the press, and I'll be very quick on that. The most disappointing part, we are a Christian nation. Um, the man, the, the stance that he has taken, he owes millions of quarters to the lawyers, but he can't pay them. Instead, the man has resorted to pay witch doctors. As, you, as we speak, has witch doctors from Congo at his house for his survival. Now, imagine a man that has so much faith in witch doctors 
than even uh, that without uh, paying him. Imagine importing witch doctors from Congo, failing to pay his own lawyers. He's a danger to the society, and his thinking is not correct. Lastly, the last warning that I would say to my uncle, elder brother, Vashkuru Eli, is that refrain from painting the alliance president black to justify your U10 on the Zambian people. Vayama Mwali, poor political. You witnessed what happened in Mukushi, where callers would discredit you, and he was avoiding Mwali poor politically. And I even said that Shimba Kambuidi, as it stands now, is in the political ICU. But he keeps on provoking people that know him. He's going to a political grave as we speak. So I have no kind words. I had listed with a little respect that I have kept, but the way he's a danger to this country, the way he has now been even hired to go and lie to the Zambian people, I cannot, I cannot stand those lies. He's a danger to the even young people that follow him. Imagine, look at how uh, this singer Chateau has become. Her political life has not even started. She's died politically. Thank you, Mr. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks very much. Uh, members of the press seated here is uh, uh, the Secretary General for the NDC, Mrs. Uh, Bridget Atanga. To my right is uh, Professor Atanga, Chairman of Education and member of the Central Committee. To my far left is Mr. Kasonde, uh, member of the Central Committee and National Coordinator. My brothers and sisters, I called you this morning that uh, we should discuss uh, and make comment on one of uh, uh, the issues that uh, uh, is trending. I'm sure you have noticed that uh, we stopped talking about Kambwidi for some time because he has become irrelevant and uh, he had left the MDC. Therefore, we thought there was absolutely no need for us to discuss him. I want to comment on Kambwidi's uh, statement in uh, Mukushi and uh, Serenje yesterday, where he was booed. In Serenje, he was badly booed that he failed to, to hold his meetings. Um, I have a background that uh, I know Mr. Kambwidi slightly better than uh, many of our colleagues. I was uh, the PF Secretary General when Kambwidi was just a member uh, from uh, Luansha, even though he claims uh, he was part of the few that uh, formed PF. Uh, that is not true. I was his boss. I'm sure you know, members of the press, that uh, what has necessitated some of these comments is Kambwiri's behavior. Kambwiri is such a pathological liar. Kambwiri is such a tribalist. I was uh, the UPND President Special Assistant, our Special Assistant to Aka in the Ichilema. If there was that amount of tribe in Ichilema as it is being perpetuated and lied about by Kambwili, I should have been the first person probably uh, to, to talk about uh, Ichilema's uh, 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 tribalism. I left UPND, not uh, uh, because of uh, tribe. I left UPND because Mr. Sata offered me a job, which I declined, and I promised him that for that reason, I was simply going to go away from politics and let Mr. Sata run his reign. And I promised him that I'll start farming and uh, stay away from politics for as long as you remain president of this country, which truly happened, and I'm very, very proud that I'm a very successful farmer, extremely successful. Um, it is a shame that uh, Mr. Kambwidi has now started 
meeting our member chiefs. We know how Mr. Kamwidi operates. Um, it is a shame in the sense that we all know that uh, even my own paramount chief, even my own paramount chief, Chitunguru, was actually uh, a casualty of the PF administration. When PF came into power, Chitimukuru was almost being dethroned. And uh, this was actually uh, something that was uh, spearheaded by Mr. Sata using Professor Nkanduluo. She's there today, the statements are there. You members of the press are very good at keeping your, uh, your, your stories in your archives. You know the story of Nkanduluo and uh, the Chief Chitimukuru. My advice to our chiefs is please stay away from politics. We are all your sons and daughters. And governments change. We started with UNIP. UNIP went. MMD came in. MMD went. PF has come in. And PF is going. There's no doubt about that. PF is going. Now, these chiefs are not politicians. They are not voted for. Right? These are basically, in fact, it, the, the, it's God's position for them. Okay? It's you are chief by birth. So please stay away from politics. We know poverty does not choose. But surely, even if you are impoverished, my chiefs, no. Even us who are in the opposition can help you. We are your subjects. Stay away from politics because we are also your children. That's my advice to my member chiefs. The alliance is... Uh, necessitated to comment on Mr. Kambuji's attack on the UPND Alliance President, Aka Indeichilema. First of all, there has been no meeting in the Alliance that all talked about the reduction of civil servants to 50% for the sake of having that 50% go to the Tongans. He lied. There has been nothing like that. I have attended all alliance meetings. In fact, if anything, it's Kambuidi who was running away mm -hmm. from alliance meetings. Yeah. Kambuidi has never had six hours of sitting with Aka in the Ichlema to discuss anything. So leave Aka in the Ichlema alone because Kambuidi does not even know Aka in the Ichlema. He has never sat with the gentleman. I was Aka in the Ichlema as a special assistant myself when I was in UPND. He does not understand Aka in the Ichlema. And he does not understand the decency and genuineness in that man's mind. Aka Inde Ichilema is a very decent man. He has succeeded as an individual. Even today when you say some people are kind, I don't want to mention names. We lived with them in this same country. Did they have money to give anybody? They didn't have money to give anybody. Today they are giving money because they are abusing state resources. We lived with them. Even beer, we were buying beer for them. And most of them, actually, the entire hierarchy of uh, uh, PF, unless those who came later, I was their boss. I know their financial capacity. Today they can give money, yes, but they had no money to give. So leave Aka in the Ichlema's uh, own personal resources, his own personal achievements, leave them alone. They are not for sharing. The money that PF is sharing is stolen money. Leave his achievements alone. Leave Aka in the Ichlema, the Alliance president, alone. There has never been such a meeting that we are going to share. I mean, we are going, uh, uh, the, the, the UPND Alliance was going to get rid of civil service servants at 50%. There has never been such a thing. Which meeting? Ask Kambuidi to give us, to give us details of that meeting. Because he has never sat in a meeting with Aka in the Ichlema for even one hour, one to one. They have never. So that is not true. That's why we say Kambuidi is a pathological liar. And it pains that I talk about Kambuidi because he's basically nothing. He's nothing. So we talk about him because he opens his mouth and he brings us into this conflict of, uh, of interest. <coughs> Kambuidi should be grateful to the Alliance president who supported him 
when he was at his lowest. In Bemba, we say, oh, I'm sure you But I'm sure you watch her. There is nothing that a kind has done to Kambuiri for him to say what he's saying. He supported him when he was at his lowest. Before he was convicted, and when indeed he was convicted. He's a criminal convict, Kambuiri. When he was convicted, we went with Aka in the Ichlema. In fact, Aka in the Ichlema, even when the wife, Kambuiri's wife, was arrested for absolutely no apparent reason, I was with Aka in the Ichlema at Kavuata police station when the police arrested the wife and the daughter. And we fought very hard to release Kambuiri's daughter. We had to go and see the vice president, Inonge Wina, for the child to be released. So Kamwiri should not talk about things which are not true. And I can assure you that I'm going to follow Kamwiri in the Northern Circuit not too long from now. I'll be trailing him, I'll be with him. Let him tell the people the truth. It is very shameful for the PF, in fact, and take this fact, the press, seriously. It is very shameful for the PF to proudly use a criminal convict, a prisoner, mm. to campaign for a president, to campaign for President Ed Galungu. Surely, what message are you sending to the, to the world? You can get a convict to come and campaign for you to, be, to, to, to continue being a president of the country. Then you must be, uh, you must be a... Uh, 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 a team of uh, uh, and uncouth behavior, all of you. You cannot use a convict, a criminal convict, to campaign for you. It is something that is very strange. You cannot. What type of a country are we? As UPND Alliance and indeed as NDC, we call upon the international community, the European Union, the African Union, SADC, the United Nations, and all accredited missions to Zambia, all the embassies, to inquire into this. You cannot use a prisoner to campaign for you. What message are we sending to our own judicial, uh, to our own ju judiciary? So basically we are saying they are irrelevant. You can go to court with a criminal convict, you steal, you alter documents, you are convicted, but still the president can come and pick you to campaign for him. What a message. So we call upon all these accredited missions to Zambia to take note of this serious omission. It's a very, very serious omission, both at law, morality, and whatever you can call it. President Edgar Lungu should actually relook into this and release Kambuiri from his uh, uh, campaign, uh, campaign circuit for him. He's a criminal, okay? And uh, one cannot call this a free and fair election. Where well, you are using prisoners, convicts, to campaign for you, under which constitution? And you can call it a free and fair election. It's shameful, very shameful for PF. Yeah. And PF, I think, uh, I don't hate PF myself, but I don't like their conduct. Zambia does not belong to PF. Zambia belongs to Zambians. And the Zambians have spoken. They are saying they want change. Therefore, you cannot get prison at, at, at any cost to get a vote. Even come with himself. Surely, if it was me, a convict, criminal convict, I came from prison, then I stand and say, no, let us vote for Vahid Garungu. He called him a dog from Chawama. Said Red Garungu is just a dog from Chawama. Not too long ago, it's on record and it was in the courts. Now, what has happened to the dog today? The dog can become a president, a drug dealer can become a president. Those are words from Kambui. They are not my words. He called him a dog from Chawama. Today, a dog from Chawama can be campaigned for by Kambui, a criminal convict. It is not fair. And we will not have free and fair elections to that extent. Uh, it, is, it is embarrassing, really. I have a lot of respect for Edgar Rungu. But you cannot use state resources and give it to a criminal convict 
to go and start campaigning for you. Those are state resources. It's not personal money. He's the president of the Republic of Zambia. He's our president, all of us, and I'm a taxpayer. You cannot use my money to give a criminal convict to go and campaign for you, and you continue taking my money as a taxpayer. That serious omission should be inquired by the accredited uh, missions, especially the United States of America, because we are seeing a resistance of a president who wants to resist leaving office at any cost. And this is on record elsewhere in the world, I don't want to mention. So we're calling upon the United States of America to ensure that decency is restored in our democracy. Kambwiri is a dangerous and cruel tribalist. This gentleman hates Tongas with a passion mm. I do not understand. Look at his campaign trail. Each time Kambwiri is campaigning, he does not campaign elsewhere. He's always in the North, Northern Circuit. And why is he in the Northern Circuit? To talk about Tongas. Kambwiri never campaigns in Southern Province. Mm -hmm. Kambwiri never campaigns in Western Province. Kambwiri never campaigns in Northwestern Province. The other province which he had a comfortable uh, 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 ball game was Copper Belt, which is gone. Mm -hmm. Copper Belt, they don't even want to see him on the streets. All right? If he's a genuine politician, if he's a genuine leader, why can't he campaign in Southern Province? Go and campaign. Go and tell them in Southern Province that you Tongas are, are bad. Not too long ago, Kambuiri was in, in Southern Province to apologize. When he said, and that was blasphemy, when he said, even if Jesus Christ came and stood with Aka in the Ishlema in, in Southern Province, Jesus Christ can lose an election. Is that a normal person? I doubt it myself, whether that's a normal person. So I think, you know, Kambuiri's hatred for Tongas should not be supported by well-meaning Zambians. Come with this tribal, tribal assault on Tongas should not be supported. And for his information, Zambians have said they want change. That's what Zambians have said, they want change. And that's the Zambians of all the tribes, like it was just mentioned here by the national chairman. They want change. And the Kambwiri should actually be, uh, I think, advised that he should stay away from this politics of uh, very cheap criminality. And the state also should actually know that you cannot use state resources and give it to a criminal and give him a chopper to go and just talk about a tribe. No, that is wrong. This has not happened, the 50 percent he talked about in, in Mkushi, about the civil servants, it's not true. It's not true. If he doesn't know, the UPND alliance is one of the best, the, the best alliance ever in this country. It has never happened. How many people are in the alliance? How many people are in the alliance? The alliance president is a Tonga. Look at the other presidents. Mutati is a Bemba. Akafumba is a Lozi. Okay? Uh, KBF is a Bemba. Count how many Bemba presidents I'm talking about. Uh, Dr. Mwansa is uh, from Luapula, from Chifnabuli. Yeah? Look at uh, Simuyemba. Simuyemba is from the north. Okay? And uh, Chikuse. Okay? So look at the outlook of this alliance. And please, for once, come with stay away from the alliance. Stay away from the alliance because this is about the best alliance. It's got a Tonga president and the rest of the tribes. And what we want is we want to bring Zambia together. We want to rebuild Zambia and move it from a tribal controlled leader to a national controlled mm -hmm. state. Look at uh, Edgar Lungu, how many people are from Chipata in his administration? If you look, start from the judiciary, go to the Electoral Commission of Zambia, go to, uh, uh, to cabinet itself, what are those tribes? 
So gentlemen, Mr. Kamwiri, my advice to you is that please stop it and take note that I'm with you. I'm starting the Northern Circuit and I'm with you. And don't bring in chiefs in this politics. And my appeal again to my member chiefs is please stay away. We don't want to insult our chiefs. Now you are bringing the chiefs into an arena where we should start disrespecting them. We respect our chiefs. I come from a, a family that is, a, that is loyal. I don't want to respect, I mean, to insult a chief. Any chief in this country are people that we should respect. Thank you, members of the press. Any questions? Any questions?